all right y'all what's up today we're gonna be just getting into this um cutting bangs on this wig now i don't know if y'all remember this but this is the wig before the current wig i've been wearing it was like a side part very poofy it's the water wave Asteria wig and so what i did was i blew it out really well like i went in on the blowout like extreme getting it all you know sh as straight as i possibly can with a with a blow dryer by itself so this is what that is that you're seeing right now um right now i'm separating the front which is very little lace this wig it was okay it was too small for me when i got it so i've been I, I finessed it the entire time i had it but now i'm just like okay i was just ready for a new look like i was i was trying to fit some bangs in with some looks that i had prepared so that's what i wanted to do to this wig so right now i'm separating that front part and i'm just gonna sew since it's too small i have to sew the front part to a certain spot in my head so we can stay up there because if a wig is too small it's going to come back so like i have to sew it i sewed it forward so it'll like stay forward which is just insane but like this is just what i had to do so i just put that through very meticulously look at my face concentration because baby i poke myself <laughs> I poke myself so I uh, did two loops of that on each side of my head so this is the uh, right side so I did that first and then I went in and did my other side which I'm gonna cut to real quick okay so right here i'm going ahead and cut that off and then i'm going to separate the front all over again and just get it out the way and then i'm going to put it up because it's time to actually get the lace uh, stuck get get it down on my head honey so i went in with the even spray which is like my new obsession like i will never go back to glue unless i really had to but this is it for me because i don't like to sleep in wigs so this is just like extremely perfect for me so I use this spray. They have a black can too that holds really, 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 really long. Like longer, like overnight, maybe twice or three nights. But you know what I'm saying? But the red can is very good for daily. So I went ahead and used that. It's not usual that I spray this spray on top of my lace. But with this one, since bangles is going to be covering it, I didn't really care how the lace appeared to be. So I just wanted to get it as stuck down as possible. Like I said, the wig is too small. So I want to do everything I can to make sure it stayed in place that day. Because I knew I was going to be outside. I'm taking photos so I went ahead and sprayed that on top and I got it together put the hair away and then I'm gonna just wrap it down and let that sit down okay and so that's what I'm doing right here and then after that I'm gonna take it all down while the um lace is getting stuck and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush it all down and then I'm gonna flat iron this bang area and I'm just gonna get it as silky as possible uh, between flat iron wax stick hot comb like I'm gonna get it as straight as I can possibly get it so when I cut the bangs it's very accurate so that's what I'm gonna work on here Okay, so right here, I'm actually going to take the scarf off and then I'm going to comb everything out. And so then I'm going to go in and start cutting the bangs. Now, listen, y'all. Right here, I'm actually cutting the bangs. Listen, 
I'm not in frame but I am about to notice I'm not in frame and then come on up so what I did was I always take the middle section and I start cutting not straight across I'm scared of that unless I really know what I'm doing like know how this is going to turn out I know the flow no I always cut up and down okay so then it's more of a fringy bang than it is a blunt bang I'm more of a fan of the fringy bang on me so what I do is I cut the middle section at a decent level not too high like I'm always scared I'm just gonna it's just gonna be too short which I actually got scared later in this video because I thought I did the absolute most <laughs> but um I did the middle section and then toward the side I always go down because that's the better frame for my round face so I always just frame my face like that's what I always go for basically with every hairstyle that I ever get I always try to frame my face because your girl was blessed with some mighty cheeks and mighty face real estate so I have to make sure that the face is framed okay so um like I said I'm continuing to cut up and down into the bang once I know that you know obviously they're extremely long and so um I always just take my time with it because I am the girl with like I do the most first and then try to finesse it later instead of just doing the right amount first so I won't have to finesse like I'm always just that person I'm, I'm like that with makeup and everything like I always do that so I've been working on like taking my time in my um adult years you know just take your time just calm down Michelle but anyway so this is this probably was stupid so I went ahead in my with my flat iron and I'm really I'm about to look real nice look at this 1993 bangs girl like I didn't even know I was like girl why did you even curl that but I don't know why I did that but anyway I'm going back in with the uh scissors and I'm just gonna start to clip and this is when I thought I was doing the absolute most and I was like Michelle please you know just talking to myself but continuing the up and down cutting that is the theme for today because I will mess this up with a blunt bang I, I, I don't even think it's cute on me to be honest it's just not even my flow but look at this <laughs> And so when I looked in the mirror after this, I was like, Michelle, what's going on? So I was like, okay, I know where this is going. I need to frame some more. Let me just go ahead and go in. So that's what I was thinking to myself. And then um, I realized that one of my layers was uh, different from the other on the other side later on. But I didn't really mind it because I kind of like to wear my bangs sometimes. Well, my wig, my bang wigs some behind the ear some night I was just laughing at myself because I look crazy with this 2002 bump on my bangs like I was just, honestly this is hilarious so I took my flat iron and straightened it out and I was like okay I'm doing good like I, I I breathed a little bit I was like okay it's coming together so I started straightening those pieces that I curled and bumped and stuff and it, it started to come together a little bit more now um I'm going to have to work on um layering the front pieces because i'm good at layering and making it frame my face but i have to just because you frame your face with the front area doesn't mean you don't need to do anything with the rest of it and so it'll make like a really distinct mark of when you of where you stopped layering so that's what i feel i need to work on and um right here i was trying to see if i can there's something i like to do with my bangs sometimes it's like a fair faucet type bang and i started doing it <laughs> look at my but I couldn't do it and um that's me scratching my face honey because it's just like bangs are just so itchy you know and I just I never will I will never get used to that so anyway I'm about to go in and do my makeup because I'm like Michelle do your makeup and come back so here I am with my makeup on right and I was like okay okay maybe maybe not so I just decided to keep going so for the rest of the video I'm really playing with this I'm cutting where it needs to be cut flattening some more flat ironing waxing hot combing i just keep on playing with it over and over again like i said this is a water wave wig so it'll give you the puffy texture real quick so i wanted to make sure i got this really 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 pressed out y'all really pressed out without adding too much product i did go in with a little bit of shea butter oil from the beauty supply store a little later for some luster and a little bit of a professional type of look but this was literally all about grooming and playing with it at this point so uh yeah the final look will be coming up in a moment which is pretty much right here and i felt like i had it together you know i felt like i did a little something i did some more primping and priming because i just never stopped doing that it's pretty much my thing oh hot honey hot the thing be hot i told you i'll be using the um hot comb that's in like an actual oven like old school oven you know, not those traveling hot combs that y'all have. Like, I still have an oven. And so, it'd be so hot. But I'm proud of myself. I think I did okay. <laughs> it was a journey. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, we will be back 
next week as usual i'm on it okay and i love y'all and i'll see y'all my next one bye